I'm Captain Eric Thors, Commanding Officer of Recruit Training Command. I welcome you to the virtual edition of our Recruit Graduation Ceremony. Even though you can't be here in person, it is important to be able to share this experience with you, the families and friends watching online and witnessing this significant milestone. Next time you talk to your sailor, I'm sure they'll have many stories to tell you about their boot camp experience. But first, allow me the opportunity to show you our side of the story. Hurry up, let's go. Get on the bus, let's go. Recruit Training Command is the quarter deck of the United States Navy. Good order and discipline will be maintained 24-7. Proper military posture will be maintained 24-7. Every enlisted sailor begins their naval career here, and our mission is fairly simple. It's to transform civilians into smartly disciplined, physically fit sailors ready for follow-on training and service to the fleet, and while doing so, to instill in them the highest values of honor, courage, and commitment. You are no longer a civilian. Whatever you were before is now over. You are about to begin a journey that's going to make you a part of the greatest naval force the world has ever known. This training will not be easy. It wasn't meant to be. Our training environment is controlled chaos. And while it may not seem like that to the recruits, each and every event has meaning and purpose. You're going to sound off at the top of your lungs. Do you understand? Yes, I do, sir. We are designed to develop skill sets that sailors can carry throughout their entire career. We push hard on physical fitness. You better get the work. Watch standing. Stop looking, man. Look. Try it. Read it. Look. And creating a warrior mindset. Now, with the mental scan, you're going to be focused on your mind. A true body, mind, and soul approach. When I say gas, 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 you'll have 15, one, five seconds. Stand your face, tighten your straps, check floor seal, and put your hands in your pockets. All of our recruits receive training that will help them the second they get to the fleet. firefighting, damage control, weapons and seamanship. Our recruits get hands-on training and application with them all. together as a team, execute the mission, and the next time I see you, you'll be sailors. Who y'all neighbors? Everything they learn is tested in a battle stations. Identify yourself. Chief, Division 001, man in ready for battle station. Chief. Very well. Do not relax anything that is on you. That is a 24-hour event where the recruit ceases to exist and a sailor is forged. Navy boot camp really is a machine with a swarm of moving parts all working towards the same goal, making a sailor.
The sailors forged here are the bedrock of our naval forces. They give our Navy its combat edge, and they enable us to help keep this nation secure. Each of them you see here today has earned the right to wear the uniform recognized throughout the world as a symbol of freedom. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the newest and sharpest sailors in the United States Navy. Please welcome Carlos 
help from him. Petty Officer First Class, Enrique Garrett. Chief Petty Officer, Arnell Angeles. And the Great Chief Petty Officer, Chief Petty Officer Eduardo Garcia from Riverside, California.
Congratulations, sailors. You've all made it. You're graduating from boot camp and doing so in a time of extraordinary circumstances. Today, we recognize your transformation from civilian to sailor. A sailor is a member of a profession forged through shared adversity, confident in their abilities, and certain in their conviction that they are ready to handle any challenge. The RTC staff and your RDCs see these traits within each of you. I personally could not be more proud of how you have risen to the challenges we presented and proven that you have what it takes to be members of our Navy and profession of arms. While your time here has been different than others have experienced in the past, fundamentally, most things haven't changed. Like every sailor, you've been trained in firefighting, damage control, seamanship, small arms, and watch standing. You proved you were tough, mentally, morally, and physically. You showed you could work as a team, both relying on one another and being relied upon. You demonstrated the warrior spirit of sailors and earned the right to wear that title. The coronavirus has certainly impacted your experience, but the Navy is inherently flexible and agile and excels when faced with challenges, just like you've all done here during boot camp. But we're not just congratulating you today. We're welcoming new members of the Navy family watching from afar. While I wish you could all be here in person, I'm glad I'm at least able to virtually welcome you. The term Navy family isn't just a slogan, it's a real thing. And I'm gonna let you families in on a secret. We need you to love and support us throughout our service to our nation. Thank you for your love and support of your sailor. You are truly part of our family and essential to the Navy. To the sailors graduating today, well done. We are all very proud of you. Take care of one another and stay in the fight. Let us pray. Almighty God, we join together today to celebrate the accomplishment of these sailors having completed Navy recruit training. We know success was earned by these sailors, not given. And yet, we also know that there were many who were involved in helping them along the way. For the RDCs who worked long hours and sacrificed greatly, we ask that you would give them rest in coming days. For the others here at Recruit Training who poured time and knowledge into these sailors, give them the strength to carry on day to day. For the families, many who are able to watch on this live stream, we ask that you would encourage them with this graduation. And finally, God, would you from this moment on be with these sailors, helping them to act honorably in the challenges of life, courageously when temptations arise, and committed to constantly improving, not just individually, but one another as well. Amen. Your time here you've been taught toughness you have been taught to run to the fire you have been taught to deal with acute stress how to process it and still move forward you've been taught all that stuff you've been taught to overcome challenge and you have overcome challenges the fact that you're sitting here today says you've done that because here's what I'm gonna tell you you're gonna be tested it's coming one of you is gonna be sitting in your gym working out and you're gonna hear a loud crash off the back of your ship and when you get up topside a helicopter with 25 people has hit the back of the ship and fell in the water and now you go to mass casualty and start rescuing people one of you is gonna be eaten from the mess decks and you're gonna hear the flight deck fire drill fire alarm go off and you're gonna to run to the flight deck to suit up and there's a Harrier jet with two 500 pound bombs on board a pilot in the cockpit and the planes on fire and you got to go combat the fire one of you is going to be sitting in combat off the coast of Africa, and you're going to hear missiles inbound. This is not a drill, and you're going to have to react. Everything I just said has happened to our Navy in the last four years. 
and sailors like you responded and took action. Your test is coming. Are you ready? Yes, yes Weak. Weak. Are you ready? Yes, yes I am proud of each and every one of you. You are absolutely the generation of sailors I want to go to war with. Be proud of what you've done. Earn it every day. I'm proud to call you shipmate. I look forward to seeing you in the fleet. I look forward to seeing your graduation tomorrow. Congratulations to your parents. Hoo-yah. Hoo-yah!